we were talking about like, what prime uh, rings of power <laughs> we were talking about rings of power heavily since february of last year when that vanity fair article came out but uh we've been talking oh, about their big one that they thought was going to get them all the fans and it's just chock full yeah. of like here's where they're going wrong well they, <laughs> we they have, use like, it to attack 19 fans remember? articles out of that yeah they they use that to attack fans they got some a uh, DEI woman from some UK university in Glasgow to basically uh, accuse anyone already complaining about uh, the show as racists. So uh, it was a total hit job piece, but that's fine. Uh, we covered it and exposed it. But yeah, so th- so what do you guys make of him kind of doing this 100% about face and now parroting uh, what we have been saying for more than two years? So, like, I'm conflicted because I don't think he's genuinely saying this. I, I don't think he's actually coming out and being like, I care so much about LOTR. It's got to be accurate now. I feel like this might be, like, some publicity or, like, this is, like, approved now. Like, now it's okay to say it. So, I just, I don't know to what end. And that, and that's that's all. I, it just feels really fake to me and flat. I like he's waited this it- long. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, you go ahead, Jacob. I, I can. No, I'm just gonna say, yeah, what the fact that they waited this long to come out and say this makes you think that right. there has to be something else going on here. Yeah, right. Because I'm like, wondering. Yeah, go ahead, John. Yeah, go so ahead. I'm wondering if yes. he feels that he felt like the tide of Hollywood was uh, wearing that shirt and everything. <laughs> yeah. He felt like that was the thing. But then you had Theoden King come out and be like, "This is absolute garbage, trash. <laughs> uh, don't watch it." And then he was being like, "You're just like, this stuff is crap." And maybe. Maybe that's he was why the he's first now of like kind the of... old actors, right, to come out like the. I think he's the only like, one. But... Yeah, I think. Maybe I mean, v- Vigo yeah. kind of did it tacitly. He's like, "What source material?" Is that's that right. It's Vigo. Of? That's who I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> but he didn't like outright do what um, Theo did and King did, where he was just like, "This stuff is absolute garbage," and he was like, "Don't watch it." So, uh, yeah. Do you do you think that like seeing Vigo, seeing um, Theo and King come out? I'm blanking on the guy's name right now. But uh, coming out and basically like saying that that show is trash, he's uh, he's he's had an awakening that's like maybe like emboldened him to actually speak his own mind instead of well, it kind of already cashed like, the check and his NDA is over now. Or something. Definitely that. Know. But you've also seen like uh, like it's exactly what like so John was saying that we've been covering this all since February. We've been on it. Blah blah blah. This is going to be terrible. Da 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 da. Last year, twenty twenty two. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, it's February of last year. And now, like, I've seen in probably in the whatever, how long it's been since the series, like, ended in the last, like, two months or so, so many more, like, outlets and, and critics are coming out being like, this was really bad. Amazon swung in a mi- and missed. And it's like, we could have told yeah. you that. So now I think it's, Hollywood like, Reporter. it's okay to say it. Yeah, Hollywood Reporter Hol- is one of them. Tim Masters at the Hollywood Reporter ran an absolute hit job oh my on gosh. Jennifer Salky and... Uh, Prime Video and Amazon Studios a couple weeks ago. I mean, it was like, and, and that's where we got how like it was like sixty three percent of people like didn't finish the show or something like that, mm-hmm. some like insane <laughs> number. And uh, th- at least that's that's what she reported. So that's that was a rumor because it came from her sources. But I mean, that was I thought that was like the that would be the most interesting part of that. But because a lot of it was like corporate speak. And just kind of like just absolutely just railing on her for just poor oh, leadership. So much corporate speak, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was surprised to see that coming from uh, Masters because she usually is. Um, she's she's usually I feel like like one of their cheerleaders. Pretty yeah, a little bit pretty cheerleader. But I have seen her. She does ask like really good tough questions though. She's got a podcast, uh, and she oh, and when she has that. people come on. She does ask. She actually asks uh, tougher questions than. Uh, anything you'll see from like Collider or Springer or anything like that. <laughs> oh, um, coll- Collider for hard questions? Okay. <laughs> the Little League, the T ball yeah. of interviews. <laughs> uh, Pinochet's helicopter tours for $2 says, looks like Amazon's shill checks to Elijah bounce. I, I don't, I, he probably just cashed it already <laughs> and the NDA is expired. I mean, right? Um, yeah. I, that's what I think. Bling. I don't. I don't. I don't think that the checks bounced. I mean, he cashed it and he moved on, and uh, he's like, "Wow, maybe he actually watched it." And he was like, "Holy smokes, this is terrible." That would be hilarious if he's like one of the few people who's like, "Okay, I'll give it a shot." Oh no! Yeah. Oof. I was Oof. like, uh, GQ should have asked him. 
GQ should have asked him what uh, <laughs> what he thought of Rings of Power. Like, Maybe they, they told they, him they couldn't they ask do. that. But like they they also need to learn how to like put like press them and make sure they watched it because a lot of times they're like, oh, did you enjoy the season? Like, what what are your thoughts on it? And it's a very general like, oh, the season's yeah. great. Like you should be like, what did you think of that moment in episode eight where Grogu started jumping on the like frames or whatever, so that they could actually <laughs> be like, because otherwise, if they didn't watch and it, the, just and go, the guards oh. just stand there and like. Like, oh, wave yeah. their weapons at him. <laughs> so. Please clap. And fade in. <laughs> oh, we need to get that, too. Yeah, we need to get that fade in <laughs> from Kathleen Kennedy. I later. love it so much. <laughs> uh, uh, Pinochet's helicopter says she'll check sound cooler and will be the corporate thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, KJ says maybe Elijah watched uh, Disparu his videos. Volume dealer says 20k is like five dollars to these people. True, but I bet I guarantee you they aren't gonna be turning down 20k. Yeah. Uh, especially when it's part of like the whole Hollywood um cult to promote the promote the that's basically part of their religion is the like, skin color. Yeah. <laughs> cult. So yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. Cause, cause not only did he get paid, but he also got to push the religion that he's kind of part of. Uh, or that like I don't know if he's part of it, but he's part of Hollywood, and he clearly did it. So I assume he's part of it too. Yeah. Um, let's go down to the bottom. I think there's there might be some more on the bottom of this article, cider. Yeah, KJ is like twenty k is twenty k. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, uh, just in case you had, I mean, I think we've covered this before, but uh, we do have the um, uh, these new these new films are being made. Zaslav said uh, on the Q, on his Q4 2020 earnings call back in February, I'm thrilled to announce that Mike DeLuca and Pam Abdi signed a deal to make multiple Lord of the Rings movies. Lord of the Rings is one of the most iconic storytelling franchises of all time, and we're so excited. I'm ex- the, Yes, it's true. I don't know about excited. I'm cautiously optimistic, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not even optimistic. We'll see. We'll see what happens with War of the Rohirrim, because that's New Line I, Cinema. I think you're more just anime. like... Like you just got beat up really bad, or like you didn't get beat up, but like you just had to suffer through rings of power. So you're just like anything yeah. at this point, like is a breath of fresh air from that garbage. The one thing, the one like this is the one blessing out of rings of power is I learned so much more about Tolkien <laughs> um, and how he thought and uh, huge. Uh, that's a huge blessing for me that I got to like explore so much more of his writings while covering all this stuff. Um, because unlike the people who were running rings of power, I actually went and looked <laughs> at uh, Tolkien's letters and what he what? wrote. There's a and... source material. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I do, um, I do find that as a blessing. I was glad to share that too with um, so many other people through the articles that I wrote. <laughs> Uh, on bounding in the comics.com and i know i know i've saw i've seen some of the comments people did really appreciate that stuff so uh, i did that was that is a huge blessing um for me that i did uh get to do that uh dungeon master blaster uh says that show is utter trash no matter what name they slapped on it their generic globalist fantasy is impossible because their hearts and minds are tainted by a bad ideology 100 percent dungeon master blaster i 100 percent agree oh, with that that is something i've been preaching uh, on this stream, I feel like for a ton, uh, I don't know how long have we been doing Black Pill stream. I feel like I've been preaching it since <laughs> like the beginning of Black Pill stream. Yeah. <laughs> is that these people can't write anything good or create anything good because their ideology is so warped? Uh, it is opposed to the good, and so they can't actually create good. I mean. Uh, Tolkien has that in his uh, in the Return of the King that people uh, misquote, um, but it's uh, ba- like I'm going to misquote it right now here too. I'm just going to paraphrase, but it's like uh, evil cannot create; it can only, only um, destroy, like, twist and warp, or whatever, or, yeah. and destroy. So, uh, Same yeah, kind of exactly. <laughs> yes. So let's go scroll down here a little bit, and because um, there is an interesting quote here, I know we've covered this a little bit. But uh, covering it more right here, Lee Lee Gwinchar, CEO of Free Mode. They're the company that holds the rights to the Lord of the, the Lord of the Rings films, among other things. I think they have video games and T. I don't know if they have TV, but they have they have. Like, yeah, I think the they have the novels so as well. All over there. 
they had the novels too, but he says, following a recent acquisition of Middle Earth Enterprises, we're thrilled to embark on this new collaborative journey with New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Pictures, bringing the incomparable world of J.R. Tolkien back to the big screen in new and exciting ways. We understand how cherished these works are, and working together with our partners at New Line and Warner Brothers, we plan to honor the past, look to the future, and adhere to the strongest level of quality and production values. So... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> look to the future is always look to the future. Looks like um, we got to get a modern audience. We got to appeal to the new generation. Yeah. We got to get the new people. Yada yada yada. Um, just uh, I'm like that's like a I'm just that's a huge red flag. Uh, why do you have to use that? Like what? Why would you need to use that to talk about look to the future? Like what future are we doing? Are you just going to be making up stuff in like the, the fourth age? <laughs> yes. Go. <on>. What? <laughs> so.